All right, in this video, let's get started with some code setup. The first point I have to mention is that I have created a new React project using Create React App. So go ahead and run the command npx create React App followed by your project name. I have named the project as React Table Demo. Once your project is created, in the source folder, create a new folder called Components. This folder will contain all the code we are going to write during this series. The next step is for us to install the React Table package. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add react hyphen table. If you prefer npm, run npm install react hyphen table. Once the command completes, you should be able to see react table version seven listed as a dependency. We are nearly done with our setup but we have one very important task to complete, and that is setting up some mock data. Typically, you would be consuming data that is already stored in your database. However, to keep things simple for this tutorial series, we are going to generate some mock data. And the tool I use for that purpose is Mockaroo. So in your browser, navigate to mockaroo.com. Here, you can see some pre-filled information that can generate some data. Let's customize this for our tutorial series. The first field here is the ID field, which is of type row number. This is a necessary field for us, so I'll leave it in. Similarly, first name of type first name, and last name of type last name and email of type email address are all fields that suit our mock data. So let them be as they are. I'll change the next field though. Instead of gender, the field name is going to be date underscore of underscore birth and the type is going to be date time. Now what's cool with Mockaroo is that you can also restrict the date and select the format. I'm going to set the date range between 1970 and 2020. And the format is ISO format. The next field, I'll change IP address to H and the type is number. I'm going to set 18 as the minimum age and 58 as the maximum age. I'll also add two more fields. Country, which is of type country. And finally, phone, which is of type phone. And I'm going to select the last format option. We now have eight different fields of varying data types that serve as good mock data for our data table. I'm going to scroll down a bit and set number of rows to 200. And the format is JSON. I'll also uncheck include null values as we don't really need null values in our mock data. At this point, you can preview to get a glimpse of the data that is going to be generated. If you're happy with it, click on the download data button. Once the file is downloaded, copy it from the downloads folder, reveal your project in file explorer, and paste it inside the components folder. You should see that reflecting in VS Code as well. So we have created a brand new React project, installed React Table, and set up some mock data. With that, we are now ready to implement a basic React data table in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.